Now to that bomb threat that prompted a security scare at Greece, Arcadia Middle and High Schools today. Officials say the threat qualifies as a hate crime. That threatening message forcing a two-hour delay this morning. The superintendent says the school immediately followed emergency precautions to keep students and staff safe. But the original sender is currently unknown. Officials briefing the media this afternoon. 13 WAM's Natalie Calzatoni was there. Natalie, good evening. Good evening, Matt. An anonymous bomb threat that Greece school superintendent Kathleen Groppen says qualifies as a hate crime was forwarded to the district just after 6 this morning. We have blurred out the harmful language shown in this email threat. An anonymous email threat was forwarded to Greece Central Schools early Friday morning containing harmful language and threats to bomb Arcadia High School. Greece's superintendent Kathleen Groppen says the incident is greatly upsetting. To me, it qualifies as a hate crime. Um, to me, um, I want to work as vigilantly as possible with our authorities to make sure whoever is responsible for this um, is prosecuted to the fullest extent. Grotman tells me the school reacted quickly to evacuate staff, communicate with students and parents, and put the school in a two-hour delay. GPD was able to get into the building. They were able to sweep the building with dogs and assure us that there was absolutely no threat um, and we could resume classes and get kids back on campus. Grotman says this threat is most likely connected to a video filmed in February that's circulating on social media. It allegedly shows two students fighting in a school bathroom. She feels the video is being used for a hateful agenda. That fight that occurred um, was significant um, and very, very upsetting and disturbing. But our district took swift action with that. That was not an event that didn't go unnoticed or that got swept under the rug. That was an event that was dealt with very, very specifically um, um, and sensitively. Grotman says these kinds of threats are happening nationwide. I do think that there was very intentional um, uh, work done to cause harm um, and damage. Um, and it's using students and using kids as a pawn in that. Um, and I, I, that frustrates me and really greatly upsets me. The sender of this threat is currently unknown. Greece police are investigating the matter and say they have been in touch with the FBI. Matt.